Welcome to the OCA Benefit Services tutorial on the Summary of Benefits and Coverage. What is the Summary of Benefits and Coverage, the SBC? The Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, commonly known as Obamacare, now requires a Summary of Benefits and Coverage for all health insurance plans. This includes your health reimbursement arrangement that is currently being serviced by OCA. Effective September 23, 2012, the law requires health insurers and self-funded group health plans, like an HRA, to provide a standard summary of benefits and coverage to all individuals enrolling in the medical plan. What is the purpose of the SBC? The purpose is to provide individuals with standardized information so that a consumer can compare medical plans as they make decisions about which plan to choose. Despite the strict requirements, the agencies are implementing a good faith enforcement rule for the first year of applicability. What must the SBC include? A four-page covered summary, double-sided and at least 12-point font. Coverage terms glossary, showing common medical and insurance terms. Customer service and website information. Coverage examples of two set medical scenarios, which include having a baby and managing type 2 diabetes. Now these are intended to show typical services and cost sharing under the plan. The numbers will be based on client specific plans and the estimates are based upon national average cost and in-network benefit levels. Please note that because the SBC requires the use of national average cost, the SBC may be somewhat misleading based upon actual costs in your specific state. When must the SBC be distributed? Upon request? Upon application of coverage? 30 days prior to automatic renewal and if the plan changes the SBC must be provided prior to the start of the plan year. Special enrollees 60 days prior to material mid-year modifications and included in written application and enrollment materials for all new hires. Who must the SBC be provided to? The SBC must be provided to any eligible employee and their eligible dependents. Now this could have been problematic for the HRA plan administrators who often do not know the identity of the eligible dependent. However, Agency guidance indicates that an SBC properly furnished to the eligible employee will actually satisfy the notice requirement to an eligible dependent, unless the plan administrator knows that the eligible dependent resides at a different location, in which case a separate SBC is now required. What happens if you choose not to distribute the SBC? The Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act imposes a $1,000 per day penalty on any plan administrator who willfully fails to furnish the SBC in accordance with the rules. Fortunately, the agency's basic approach to the implementation during the first year is to forego penalties on plan administrators who are working diligently and in good faith to comply. How is OCA handling the distribution of the SBC? As your plan service provider, OCA firmly believes we will meet the agency's requirements of best faith efforts as we prepare and distribute customized SBCs for each of our clients. On a rolling basis, OCA will be providing an electronic copy which will be emailed to the contact listed for all groups as well as an electronic copy being posted on our secure employee and employer portal called My Resource Service Center, formerly known as MyRC.